Top TV Truth of the People <laughs> Yeah my name <laughs> JG on this Yeah Love J Beauty man beauty man Beauty man beauty man Beauty man beauty man Wameti hiyo luku manze iko fine Beauty man beauty man Beauty man beauty man What's up people? It's your girl again Grace Muhoi on our amazing fantastic show Top Notch Entertainment. And today we will be hosting JG like Juchini man Juchini man. Let's welcome him. Na tunavyenye tunaona ako na luku pia so si bure. So who is JG? Uh JG ni boy wa mta. He's very humble. Uh ni say passionate. Ni msani ni DJ. Eh, ni chef ni mason so me ni it's a full package a day, a day. Ah. so your real name my real name is Joe Gaduma so that's where JG comes, JG comes from so J is my first name that's Joe G is my second name Gaduma but nikaiongeza double e yeah kama kichere <laughs> eh lazima uwe G eh lazima uwe G ule msee So JG umetoka wapi? Ah uh, uh, kuzaliwa ama sehemu eh kuzaliwa Mimi kuzaliwa mimi ni Bontao nilizaliwa Ngoro na Gureti uh, later on in life tuka move tuka kama Kajiado Kiseria mm-hmm. yeah So ushagoni tao Nairobi Eh mimi ushagoni tao ingawaje kuna ile wewe sasa mimi niko Bontao <laughs> lakini kuna ushago Muranga uh-huh. lakini sasa huko nilikuwa naenda once in a while uh-huh. ingawaje sasa my grand my grand is what one pass so sasa ninasema mimi tu ni Bontao oh wewe ni Bontao eh, sababu Bontao kila kitu eh kila kitu tu ni huko oh eh. na kama JG hangekuwa msanii JG angekuwa nani ah uh, kama JG angekuwa msanii anaweza anaweza JG anaweza cheza ball JG anaweza anaweza jenga na jo kujenga nyumba JG anaweza pika so kuna i think kuna variety zenye nyingi choose from eh, so kama singekuwa msanii kuna zile vitu nyingi ninge ninge ingawaje hata size na vifanya yeah. na apart from msanii ni kitu gani kingine unafanya so, kama kama vile nimesema i mean to construction so najenga bado naitangwa events ku DJ na still a DJ na pia ukiwa na event unataka kupikiwa bado na joke sort mambo ya tumbo ndio aya tuambie more about look ah uh, uh, music journey yangu imekuwa tough kidogo i started back in 2013 that's when i started music uh, my first recording although i writing music i started quite early i remember my first song iliandika 207 hiyo isaho so nilikuwa na naandika by then nilikuwa na do gospel music alafu nika form group tulikuwa tunaitwa poor millionaires tulikuwa wawili so group ikaenda ikaenda after tulimaliza high school mie ya was in form four na yule mwingine alikuwa form three so unaona alikuwa na mwaka mmoja kukua shule so along the way mimi at least by the time anamaliza form four nilikuwa at least nimejua mechanism ya music mm-hmm. alafu we tulianza tukadu around we did as poor millionaires we did around five projects then later on aka aka sevika so no no so when you say i think that's the point to the part ways kwa sababu unaona sandi anza kuimba tu hizi hizi mangoma za za kufanya nini nini so kulikuwa kukaza kuwa na sheria mingi ukiandika music unaona so nika feel like i work unaona na nikamwambia kama kabisa hii kitu iko ndani yetu wewe utapasi ukivi yako na mimi ni pasi ukivi yangu ingawaje si ati tuliko sana ama ni still homeboy unaona so around around kitu 2016 that's when i released my first solo project nilikuwa ni tambo walewa eh walewa that was my first solo project alafu kutoka hapo nikadu solo project nyingine inaitwa wangejua nikadu nyingine inaitwa wazembe unaona so alafu sasa luku along the way sasa music challenge kubwa ya music ni do so do ilikuwa issue sana alafu sasa uki uki approach wa wengi wakubwa they talk about quality issues na nini 
So along the way, nikapata mse, ambaye ali nisupport. Unaona? Ambaye ali nisupport kufanya hiyo ngoma inaitwa Luku. Na hiyo ndio ndio unaona ta nimevaa tisho yake. This is the man behind Luku, mwenye ali fund Luku. Ah, uh, anaitwa Mheshimiwa Jacob Wangai Gitao na he's vying for the seat of Kajiado West MP. So yeye ndo ni fan na do after to me do nikaketi na producer wangu anaitwa Superman. Nikamwambia alikuwa ameunda beat. Alikuwa na beat lakini hakuwa na idea. So nilipopitia studio akaniambia ni aje JG nataka uchangamkie hii ngoma juu na juu yeye to create. So nikamwambia kitu ya kwanza condition mimi kawaida yangu nakuwa na condition nyingi sana nikiwa kia project. Sasa nikamwambia yeye ni msi anapenda mala vidavi ni za mapenzi juu ni sawa Mombasa. So nikamwambia hatufanyi ngoma ya mapenzi. Hiyo ndio one of the rules. Hatufanyi ngoma ya mapenzi na stack you see. That was the condition I gave you. I mean in that got you see. Nikamwambia nataka ura. So I came with the idea yo juu chini man juu chini man luku juu chini man so after I did the chorus I can record his verse this iko na idea verse so nikamwambia acha niende nitulie ndio niweze kufanya kuandika verse yangu so nilipomaliza verse yangu nikafeel bado ngoma unajua mimi usikiza ngoma sana na nikalan kuna kitu hiyo ngoma inakosa nikasikia tu kuna sound haina tuko na maneno na mimi lakini kuna sound tu hiyo ngoma haina so i looked for another guy anaitwa Lovey J list yangu sana so nikafeel hiyo part yenye haiko kwa hiyo wimbo yeye ataweza kuifeel unaona so juu yani yule mse wa vibe ya genge to kabisa yani yani ni mse yani anapenda genge to and really feel that ataleta hiyo vibe kwa ngoma so that's how to tukamaliza tukamaliza hiyo luku from there ndio tukachukuana na director mwenye alifanya video anaitwa Loz akaua vidana yeye aka deliver kabisa alafu from there we just launched the project and uh, nafurahia kwa sababu so far reception imekuwa poa yeah, yeah. nimeona yeah. so umeniambia ulianza na gospel then yeah. with time uka change uka kaenda to secular. Nini lifanya utoke kwa gospel uende kwa secular? One one of the conditions zenye zilikuwa shule zenye nilisomea walikuwa strict sana huwezi akungepewa platform ya kufanya secular song. Unaona? Jua sisi walimu wote yani ma principal walikuwa na hiyo issue. Hata ile platform unapewa ya entertainment unless una do gospel hauwezi hiyo platform kama ni hizo ma festivals ma drama festival hauwezi pewa chance ya kufanya anything as long as ufanye kitu ya gospel you know so hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza ilifanya nini so na what happened is iko kitu nimelearn kwa life that creativity inakujanga saa zile msia kwa pale chini you know whenever you are down unaanza kitu you are so creative but saa zile success ina come na ndio unaanga hiyo ndio inakuanga shida downfall ya waimbaji wengi akishavuma ako na content sana huko chini juu content inatokanga kwa interaction ya watu unaona so na ukiwa humble whenever you are humble mm-hmm. you are always interacting in real life mm-hmm. yani na watu unaona so watu wakuoni kama celeb so ile nikikukanyanga saa hizi utaniongelesha vibaya unacheki but unakutanga saa zile uko celeb na uko na watu ukakosea msia hata ikukosea e. kwa sababu wanaona <laughs> eh hey, mwanzee sitaki nataka ku hang out na e, mzee so nika realize that the only time naweza come up with real content of music ni saa zile niko hapa down sikuwa na hii start ya kufika huko juu nipate pesa nini so me i really wrote a lot of songs saa hizi nikikwambia zile nyimbo nimeandika unaweza shanga i have at least like 724 songs 724 Because, yeah. I've written so much that mimi saizi all I did I do hata ngoma kama hii na kuambia look I already had the idea around like 6 years ago so the only thing nafanyanga ni ati na implement idea kulingana na time ya music unajua ukia ukilearn kuhusu music music kakunanga kitu mpya ya kuimba they are around like four topics you can sing about one you can sing about god sawa so, the other thing you can sing about love ni kweli the other thing you can sing about hustles the life unanielewa hiyo ndio unaweza imba alafu the fourth thing you can just praise yourself so hizo ndio hawa sani wote wako kwa dunia hizo tu ndio vitu vingine wanaishi kurudia wanaimba kuhusu god wanaimba so ni kalani ya kwamba music hakuna kitu new mimi nimesikiza jumini dj ni uchukua generations of music kitu moja nimelearn na Kenyan music industry the longest time a jona goes is 5 years hakuna jona kutoka muziki yanzi the longest time jona inaweza enda ni 5 years 
Five years kuna kuwa na evolution nyingine ya music. So wale waimbaji wanashindwa ku evolve na hiyo time wao ushia. Unanielewa? So nikalani ya kwamba kama sasa hizi nika, nika kama DJ mimi si ya ua siret music na Jonas. Si unajua watu wanasema si wana do gangeton, wana do hip hop nini. Mimi for me na rating ngoma na BPM. Speed ya wimbo. So najua kwamba kasa hii the song i did inaitwa wangejua hiyo ninakwambia wangejua mimi nikiandika it was a hardcore hip hop yeah. hardcore hip hop kabisa lakini producer wangu by the time to record alifanya ikakuwa kama ready unasikia so i refuse the idea the idea was still the same but i refuse to the time that was current so hiyo ndio kitu ni learn that whenever i write music ndio kitu ya muhimu ni idea watu wengi wana wanabai the music ni idea yeah. our follow sana bi ju watu wana beat kali you believe kila beat ni kali kila producer ni mkali kile yake but can you deliver kwa hiyo beat ndio ina matter so nikajua nika kitu ya kwanza nikajua that kama sitakuwa kitu itani keep kwa industry ni creativity yangu mimi na furaha yangu kwa sababu hata wale watu mimi wa approach wana support one of the things wanakubalengi ku support ni creativity wakisikiza kama hiyo mseni nilipo msikiza huyo mheshimiwa nilipo msikiza hiyo luko ali vibe na idea ju akafikia tu yani nika idea tu kanafanya utataka utaki kitu unataka tu kusimama unaona so hiyo ndio one of the things that me use as my stronghold na use for creativity as my stronghold ju nikitumia pesa kama stronghold yangu sita tobo kuna wasee wana do sana wanaweza do expensive videos wanaweza fanya nini so uki go the money way hautaweza kufika pale ju but if you go with the creativity way unaweza fanya hata a simple video but yani ile creativity iko kwa hiyo wimbo hata ikuuze tu watu wana tip so that's that's my priority whenever i'm doing music ya kwamba ngoma mira before ni release ngoma nasikiza anga wase naambia hii unasikia ngoma aje una feel ni change wapi napenda sana kuuliza watu maoni ya watu kwa wimbo na hata look siku ashiwa kaa ni release nili have to convince wana around watu kama 40 kila mtu aniambia hiyo ngoma achilia achilia so ndio nikapata confidence ya kuiachilia okay yeah. so umeongelelea creativity mm-hmm. unaonaje content ya musicians wa Kenya unaona like do they have do they really have like what are kuna creativity wako na content sababu kuna sometimes unaweza sikiza wimbo uko like hata it makes sense so uko like unaonaje content ya musicians wa Kenya make it never feel Uh, one of the things na nitaongea hii personal one of the things that iliaribu game yetu ya Kenya ni do do iliaribu game you siku hizi unakuta mara mingi hata ku playiwa ama ku push ngoma priority yao watu ni Kenya kinaingia kwa mfuko wao unaona so hawashughuliki sana na creativity ama content unaona so as long as umetoa ngoma na kuna pesa ngoma yako itapewa ya play itafanya nini lakini kitambo Uh, we just busy kila mtu amejua music kana pesa that's one of the things wanajua kuna endorsements kuna nini mm-hmm. lakini ukiangalia like uh, a few years ago ile time ya watu kama Isa wa Kinimba akina no nini music had no money ulikuwa unasikia wasi wanasema ati sijui unaenda event na ni artist mkubwa analipo za umoja so music had no money so the DJs that were there the producers that were there they played your music out of creativity ju wanajua hauna tu lakini star is venye mambo imefika sasa hivi it's for the money wewe kama uko na do kama uko na do hawashughuliki na Kenya unaimba wacha nikwambie ukiingia youtube usearch wasanii uta realize kuna so much talent lakini unajiulizanga mbona hawa watu hawape yangu nini hawape hiyo platform unacheki hawape hiyo chance ya ku showcase unaelewa if i think kama the whole entertainment scene wale watu wote wako involved the stakeholders kama wangekuwa na prioritize at content content ndio their first priority So ukikama na content na tuseme quality yako iko chini si wako na pesa mtu anakushika mkono anakuinua just just as the same as wale wasa wa majuu fanya unaonanga watu kaa kina DJ Khalid nani wanaonanga wasanii wako huku chini wako na talent so wanakuchukua wanakupea the right quality the right quality ya audio na the right quality ya video reception inakuwa overwhelming but kuna watu wako na dona hawana content sasa shida moja 
Wajua shida moja watu wengi, watu wengi wanapenda kuwa famous. Yaani wajua fame ni tamu, acha yeah. nikwambie. Fame ni tamu sana. As long as uko pale juu, yaani una una feeling ipo. Alafu kuna favors mingi, sijui kama umejua. Fame inakuwa na a lot of favors. Utakuta hata utapanda mata ulifishwi. You know, those are just favors. Yeah. Unakuta unaenda place mali watu wanasumbuka kupanga laini. Wewe tu mtu wa kuone pale wewe ni celeb. Unaambiwa unarupa. Eh yeah. ushapita hiyo line yote. So I think there are so much favors. Alafu sasa watu wengi they don't really care about uh, Kenya wanafanya na outcome ya Kenya wanafanya mm. we as long as yako pale juu yeah. hey, mambo yingine yisumbue yeah. so kuna privileges gani mm. ama disadvantages gani za kufanya secular music upi compare na kufanya gospel music <sighs> One of the things I mean that could give na your swali ni usemanga the most important thing whenever you are doing whatever you are doing either you na do gospel ama secular ni passion no no your passion ama the reason why you are doing it sababu hiyo ndio kitu ina drive for instance ni waambia watu be true to yourself no no na mimi sipendi sana kucheza na gospel you spend kucheza na god no no mimi naambia anga watu be who you are in fact kitu mimi nasemanga do a gospel song but wacha watu wote wajue haujasevika. Macheki. You can just do kama unaona anga wasani wengi wa wa Jamaica. They do gospel is of conscious music but watu wote wanajua huyu mse hajafanya nini? Hajasevika. Shida ni ukuwe wewe unataka ku portray an image ya kwamba you are saved, you have a righteous life. Alafu huku chini chini tunaanza kusikia mambo zingine nini? Scandal zingine. Wacheki. But if you are doing the gospel song uifanye tu uimbe uimbie god na usifu god in yani purely na watu wote wajue that you are not saved hiyo haina shida unacheki sasa hiyo ndio unakutanga watu wengi wanauza kiki na hiyo unacheki wanataka kudu gospel wanaonesha wase huku wako wako save na nini alafu saa sita za usiku nasikia alionekana akitoka place fulani unacheki so i think hapo ndio hiyo point tunasema msi anacheza na god unaona alafu sasa music kuna kuna two types of people kuna watu wana do music for the love na kuna watu wana do music for the money unaona na wale wana do for the love hawaezi acha music they will ile time tu ataacha music wataacha music kwa kijiji wakipasi wakitoka kwa hii dunia in fact ni unakutanga wale wasani wengi walianza music kitambo unakuta msi yako 8 years lakini bado wako na guitar kwa nyumba hata kama haezi enda performance ni kitu iko ndani yake yani anapenda ana vibe na music unaona lakini kama una do for money utakuta kaa ingizi do unairushia mkono lakini watu kila mtu anapenda do nani anapendi hakuna tunapenda <laughs> tunapenda do cuz like 95% ya mahitaji ya mwanadamu uh-huh. ni pesa unacheki yes. uh-huh. but ikikuwa the only reason why priority yako ina ku drive ni do itakuwa kwamba kila kitu kwa life kuna kuwa na upside uh-huh. kuna ka season do inakubali kuna ka season do inakata unacheki uh-huh. so wewe kama the only reason unafanya kitu ni do hiyo season iko chini unafanya nini unaondokea ndio unakutaka unasikia msia alikuwa msanii for 5 years akaondokea kwa sababu yeye the only reason why was money was money nani wasikia msia amejaribu mambo mingi msia msia ameikuwa tailor ameikuwa nini ameikuwa makanga cuz alikuwa akitafuta do akiona hiki tu haina do anaacha anaenda kwa kitu kingine so hiyo kitu ina drive ni do lakini mimi waambia anga watu passion passion is the only guarantee in life you will be successful mm-hmm. kwa sababu passion ni purpose yeah. unaona kila mtu the reason why watu wengi wajakuwa successful kwa life ni kwa sababu hawaja understand what is their purpose in life god akiumba kila mtu alimuumba na purpose ya life unaona na as long as hauko in the line of your purpose you will never reach where god wanted you to be yeah, yeah. so wewe una driver na purpose yeah kabisa mi i love mimi mi i knew what i wanted to be from childhood hata everyone everyone mimi hata sasa hii nikikupea vitabu zangu zote za high school zote tulikuwa nafanya za chemistry za biology zile zote tulikuwa naandika notes hakukosi page tatu mbili zilikuwa na ngoma kwa hizo vitabu i really loved music na that's the only thing na by then nasema hiyo ndio kitu ile ni keep sana shule cuz mimi nilikuwa mauru unaona so lakini sasa jua kufukuzwa ukifanya kitu na kufukuzwa shule alafu nakuta hiyo time nafukuzwa mko karibu kwenda drama festival so walimu wanajua huyu sasa sipokuwa tukawini so lazima tumrudisha wanarudisha tu shule yenyewe nilifanya kitu mbaya tu warudisha kwa sababu wanamtegemea hapo so for me hiyo ndio kitu ambayo yenyewe in fact wacha niseme the far mimi nimefika kwa life hata yani Kenya ni na own naweza sema ni na own zote zi correlated ziko zina revolve around music yeah hata kuvaa hivi nimevaa 
I can promise you that 75% of the money ni involved kwangu kuvaa hivi ni music. Kila kitu niko nayo kwa nyumba yangu. Yaani for me nasema anga me I live and I eat music. Jo hata job za nafanya construction. Msi ananipeanga job jo aliniona. Ananiambia eh sio ni msanii. Eh muite job. So as in for me nakulia usanii yani. Kasa huko kienda kiseria mimi najulikana sana kisi. Kisi huwezi kuchokoza. Hata siwezi kukupiga. Siwezi kuzua. Ukinichokoza tu kiasi hata wewe utashangaa nani watakupiga. Kwa sababu <laughs> kina hiyo ni jina usanii. Hiyo tu hiyo ndio imeniuza. So for me nasema music for me really can you make transform like yeah. Mm. So wazazi wako walikuwa okay na wewe ukifanya secular music. <laughs> kwanza <laughs> eh wazazi wangu kwanza ni wasio church sana kwa sababu babangu ni reverend. Wow. My father is a reverend and my mom is a pastor. So nasikia. So kitu ya kwanza ni wao wao respect sana decisions zangu na mimi ni I think for me nili have a very different childhood. Si unajua watu wengi hata wakiwa wadogo wanafichanga wazazi wao mambo mingi. Yeah. Sema ukienda dunda unadanganya mamako umeenda kesha mm-hmm. ndio uende dunda. Mm-hmm. Me for me I was sorry. I never hide anything. Mimi nikienda rege wazazi wangu walikuwa najua ninaenda rege. Uh-huh. Na cheki. Uh-huh. Na hata nilikuwa na waomba pia. Na zingine sina za kujaza za kufika mjini. Yeah. Na cheki. Na wao madhini na mwambia nini unaenda kwa yani naenda rege. Kutakuwa na hizo vitu zote. Yeah, yeah, Kutakuwa sijui na nini. Naambia zote zitakuwa. Kuna kitu haitakuwa. Okay. <laughs> Unaona? So ukubali ni enjoy life yangu. Okay. So I think kuna kuna either relationship bond wazazi wetu na sisi ni kwetu tu kwa wili mimi na sister yangu yeah. my older sister so kuna ile bond wazazi wetu wali make sana na sisi so as we see tukakuwa yani tunaishi tuna a very transparent life mm-hmm. yeah so wana ku support Sa- kabisa kabisa i remember one day when i was doing my first song okay. the first song i ever did yeah. ilikuwa inaitwa panganga remix in fact tuli shootia hapa chini nini kwa rooftop ya Masai Mall huko juu kabisa yeah. i've never forgotten hiyo mm-hmm. ngoma babangu alichukua loan ya 10k alichukua loan sijai sahau alichukua loan akanipea 10k niende nikafanye video tuli shoot na msia ni tango Steve Kipaji so as in nikisema wazazi wangu wani support yenye wao wana support sana yeah. eh. so ni msani yuko unaweza kwenda kufanya collab na Sai au wenye wa at least wame wame make it kidogo kwa life Manzia, wame make we, wawacha kusema kibogo, wame make it. Wame make it. <laughs> eh, awe ni wame make it. Kufika hapo si mchezo. Uh-huh. Kitu naweza sema, aki wasanii ni wengi, mi hata sijui, siyezi piana list. Njuni wengi sana, mi na feel, uh-huh. wanafanya job poa. Uh-huh. Mi the only thing naweza omba ni, kama wata along the way ni kiendelea, itakuwa na wapea ma approach, unawana? Nisi akikubali, nisao. Akikata, tunasema yeah. next time. Unawacheki? Okay. So I think, for me na feel, wasanii we, ni wengi, yani ni wasanii wengi sana. In fact, Kenya na entertainment scene wasi wako na bidii. Wako na bidii sana. Si kama kitambo kulikuwa na wasanii kadhaa wenye unaweza hesabu. Sasa hizi wasanii ni wengi ma superstar wenye hata uwezi hesabu. Kiambiwa pewa list ya wasanii ma superstar uwezi peana. Ndio ni wengi sana. Yeah. So, do you have a girlfriend ama uko single? <laughs> 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 eh, mi uh, <laughs> Kwa hiyo nilikwambia mimi upenda kuwa real na iko 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 post nili post kwa Facebook yangu like three days ago nikasema let people love you for who you are but not for who they think you should be unaona so jibu yangu ya hiyo swali ni mimi siku single na in fact me ni family man na cheki uh, i'm blessed with a wife and two kids wow. yeah, na wote wako shule na ako sawa ukifanya secular music kabisa kwa sawa in fact yeye 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 ana dance sana kwa hiyo Eh. Yeah. So what you say mtu akiye ka dreadlocks ni bad boy like nule mse wa hit and run mm. like uh, yani ni mtu tu mbaya kwa society. So wewe yako kama mse mwenye ako na dread. Unaweza mm. ambia nini watu like what do you think wana take wrong ama right about people who have dreadlocks? Ah uh, kitu ya kwanza mimi nitasema mm. eh mtu yote ana criticize uh, nywele ama dreadlocks ni kama una try kuwa opposition wa god kwa sababu hizi vitu ni god aliumba in fact ungeangalia watu wote wa kitambo 
I think walikuwa na dreadlocks kwa sababu vitu kama vichana vichana zilikuja later on. So anyone hata size ukikosa ukilea tu nywele yako usichane uile like 10 years usiwahi ingeza kichana itajiform kuwa dread automatically bila hata kurola ama kufanya nini. So for me to me me pangu kuna watu wanaleanga nywele na purposes different kuna mtu analea kulingana na religion yenye anaamini kuna mtu analea kwa sababu tofauti but for me me for me is just a style for me tu napenda nywele macheki naambianga wasee mi mi napenda kuwa nacho na the only thing inaweza ongeza swag kwa life yangu ni nywele that's the reason why siku wangu nimepia sio si chorangi si chora tatu ama nini kwa sababu napenda nga kuwa nacho so the only thing ile kitu tu nilijiona naweza cheza nao kwa mwili yangu siwezi lea hizi za macho watu mcheze nazo so kichwa tu ndo naweza cheza nao na mimi nimekuwa na nywele i think like my, uh, three quarter of my life nilikuwa na nywele juu high school nilisoma nywele so mimi sikunywa nilikuwa na shuka hadi high school wow eh, mimi yenye sina kwa nilikuwa bad nilikuwa <laughs> <laughs> So, ni advice gani unaweza pea ma youth ambao wako wana grow ama any youth tu mwenye anataka kuingia kwa usanii? Kitu ya kwanza lazima uwe na passion kwa music. Ndio kuna vitu mingi sana. Kuna a lot of criticism yeah. in the entertainment scene. Mm-hmm. I think out of 100 people unapatana nao kwa music yeah. ama kwa entertainment ni kama tu mmoja ndio atakuwa encourage 99 watakudiscourage kwa sababu ataanza kuambia yeye alafu ndio i think kila mtu amejaribu usanii at some point watu i think mimi watu wote nimeipatana na wao hata wanafanya careers tofauti kuna mtu mtu alijaribu music at some point sasa unakutanga huo msana kuambia ah hata mimi nilijaribu yeah. ikanishinda eh. hii kitu iweze kupeleka mahali so hiyo ndio inakudiscourage sana eh, alafu unakuta saa zingine umeput in the work umeput in the resources umeekelea do umefanya after umefanya hizo mambo zote umeshoot video umedoa ngoma umerecord kila kitu unapelekea msee ngoma anakuambia ngoma iko chini hebu imagine ina ina yani na ku discourage ukipiga hesabu ile effort umekuandika ngoma umehustle maybe umepiga mamjengo ndio upate ndio ya kushoot kufanya nini alafu msi ati ati hiyo kazi yote umefanya na yuwa tu na point moja so as in so unless ndio hapo ndio nilikuwa na kushoot kama hauna passion kama hupendi kile unafanya believe you need you to achieve kwa sababu mimi kufika pia nimefika passion oh ni passion acha ni kwamba nimevunjwa na i think tukianza wale watu tulianza the same time music uh-huh. tulianza around what 40 yeah. but i can dare you today i'm the only one nimebaki nikifanya wote wali quit the whole quit is ku discourage ku discourage you msana anapata na challenges ah hadi anainua mkono jua anasema acha acha na namziki acha wale wako na uwezo waendelee kufanya waendelee tu kufanya kitu hizo Yeah. So unaweza tupea kapela moja ya your favorite song currently. My favorite song obviously ni Luku. Uh-huh. Ni ngoma napenda huwa na vibe nayo kwa nyumba. In uh-huh. fact nikiamka it's the first song ndio kitu ndi kama wake up call yangu. <laughs> eh yeah, ndio uh-huh. tumi ucheza. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sasa tupe kapela. Okay. Inaenda hivi. Juu chini man vile inawabeba ya kibazu luku ya fadhila mimi ndio admin wengine jo ni member na kaa huamini kam hivi si to link up sidungi yellow yellow mimi si mkamba sivai skin tight jumisi mama sidungi bukta kwetu si Mombasa na nikipiga suti utadhani mimi ni pasta luku safi vile ina mashup kapili pili vile inawawasha kiza habari vile na wapasha luku 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 yani mtindo wa kisasa juuchi ni manjuuchi ni manuku juuchi ni manjuuchi ni manuku juuchi ni manjuuchi ni man wameti hiyo luku manze iko fine eh wameti yeah, <laughs> Hey, nice one. Hey, shukuru, so unaweza tumia as, usanii aje kwa advice the on the coming kwa advice the people on the coming general election. Kitu ya kwanza mimi nitaambia wase ama my youth uh-huh. in general. Uh-huh. Uh, ile time to make come ya ku transform life yetu ni saa hizi. We have the chance to choose how our next five years will be. So ujue sasa hizi ile uamuzi utafanya sasa hizi yeah. itadetermine miaka yako ingine inakuja tano itakuwa aje ninajua tumepitia mambo mengi magumu wengi hawana job mambo ni mengi magumu but umepewa chance ingine so mi mi feel pity sana kwa ule youth maana kwa huko nje anasema hata chukua kura 
mimi namwambia anga wewe kataa kuchukua kura na ujue ukikula shida for the next 5 years usilaumu mtu so ujitume tuko na hii siku kadhaa zimebaki za kwenda kuchukua kura wase wajitume twende tuchukue kura na tuweke viongozi mimi naambia anga wasi say that the government has enough resources kutu settle sisi wote lakini unakutanga wale leaders wana kiti kwa hizo viti ndio wana squander resources so si ati gava ina do gava iko na do iko na uwezo wa kutupea majob iko na mambo mingi inaweza kufanyia so youth man miki tunako advice waenda uchukue kura na make sure usichanganywe na leader yote ati kwenda kurusha mara siju kufanya nini manze waenda upige kura yako urudi home mse wako akiingia unashukuru god akikosa kuingia life inaendelea sawa so, jg seso eh thank you thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel na si msikia ni jg amesema passion manze passion ndo inafanya wase wa grow kwa hii industry na usifanye kitu sabu unafosiwa na mtu kufanya ama just because you want to portray a certain figure of yourself na on the election so msisahau kuchukua kura wenye hamdu chukua thank you so much ndugu Juchi ni nime wapigia ndege Na wakishika wanapanda kwa na nyege Na piga klaks na zile tisho za tene Na siwambia na tumia kama tembe Juchi ni man, juchi ni man Juchi ni man, juchi ni man Juchi ni man, juchi ni man Wameji hiyo luku, manze hiko fine Juchi ni man, juchi ni man Juchi ni man, juchi ni man Juchi ni man, juchi ni man Wameji hiyo luku, manze hiko fine